Alright, so in this video, we are going to look at how to wire and program or set a 24 hour mechanical timer. If you have watched my videos on timers before, you will notice that this timer is very different from the ones I talked about in the previous videos. Okay, so this is a 24 hour mechanical timer. I have other videos on how to wire other types of timers to automatically operate different circuits. So if you are interested and you want to know more about the other timers and how to connect them or how to wire them in a circuit, you'll find the links to those other videos below the description to this very one. All right, so timers are devices that are used to automatically control power supply to switch on or switch off electrical loads at specific times and Obviously, there are different types of timers for different applications. So you choose a particular timer depending on the operation that you want that timer to perform. Some timers can work up to 60 minutes, others can work up to 60 seconds, and so on. But this particular one works for 24 hours. All right, so this is a 24-hour timer. And that means that you can program it to switch on or switch off various loads throughout the day. A typical example for the application of this particular timer is that you can set this timer to switch on your outside lights from every 6 p.m. in the evening and switch them off for another 12 hours in a cycle. Okay, so 12 hours on, 12 hours off. That would be for your outside lights that you want them to come on during the night and then go off throughout the day. If you buy a 24-hour mechanical timer like this, this is how it looks like, fresh from the box. Before we go ahead to do any connection at all, we would first have to um, get access to the terminals and then study how the terminals are labeled and then how and where each wire will be connected. So, this is the terminal box, so we have to open it. Alright, so when we bring it closer, you can see that all the terminals here are labeled. So, starting from the bottom, we have this one labeled as terminal 1, this one as terminal 2, this one as terminal 3, and then this one as terminal 8. Then when we come to the top, we have 4, 5, 6, and 7. All right, so take note of the terminals very well. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, now this is what we are going to do. There is a diagram here that will guide us to do our wiring. And if you look at that diagram, you can see that uh, this is the symbol of a motor. So this tells you that there is a motor in this timer that drives the clock, okay? There is a dial here. If you look on the dial, it's just like a clock. So all these numbers are the times that you can set your timer and program it to work according to. All right. And there is a motor in this timer that operates the clock. And so in this diagram, this is that motor. And so you can see that that motor is connected between 7 and then 8. Okay, so that's the first connection we are going to do. The first connection we are going to do is going to be between 7 and then 8. And then the rest, you can see that number 2 and number 3 are normally closed. And then number 1 and number 2 are normally opened. All right, so let's connect the supply to the mutu and then we continue from there. I have a consumer unit here that I'll be taking my connections from. I'll connect my neutral wire to this and then I'll take the live connection from a breaker here. Normally, the right breaker to use for this particular timer should not be more than a six arm breaker. All right, so first connection, that is live from a miniature circuit breaker in your consumer unit to number seven. Okay, 
Okay. And then I said that we are connecting supply to the motor first. So the next connection to the motor will be neutral. And that neutral will go to terminal 8. So terminal 8, neutral. All right, so this lamp is our load. So this is what we are going to use the timer to control. Okay, for this connection, I want to program the timer in such a way that for a given period of time, this lamp should be on. And then for a certain given period of time, the lamp should go off. So let's say I want this lamp to come on only from 6 o'clock in the evening till 5 o'clock in the morning. And then from 5 o'clock in the morning until 6 o'clock in the evening, it should be off. I will again need to connect another live wire to terminal 2 here. So because I already have live here, I can easily loop from here to number 2. Okay, so I'm looping live from 7 to number 2. So from 7 to 2. Alright, so that is it. Simple. We are done. The next connection is going to the load. And the load connection, we are going to take live from number one and then neutral from either the neutral bar in the consumer unit or because we have neutral here at terminal eight, we can loop neutral from here to the load. Okay, so next connection to the load, we take one connection, that is our, our live, or we can refer to it as switch wire from number one, that's terminal one. Then, because we have neutral here at terminal 8, it's easy and simple to take a connection from there to the load. So we are taking our neutral to the load from terminal 8. From terminal 8 to LAM. Alright, so connection done. We fix back our lamp holder. Okay, so the final thing we have to do now is to set the timer. So to program the timer, we have to open this cover. And then, first of all, we would have to set this switch. There is a switch here. We would have to set it to program. So we have to turn the switch to this side before we program. All right, so for the programming of the timer, we have to use these tabs. We are going to use these tabs to set the time that we want the load to be on and then the time that we want the load to be off. All right, so as I said earlier, let's assume that we want this timer to operate this light at 6 p.m and it should stay on through to 5 a.m. in the morning. So simply, we count from 1 to 6 p.m. So 1 is here, so we count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, 6. So we'll turn this rotary knob until this arrow comes to number 6 here. All right, so let's do that. The knob can only be turned clockwise. You can't go backwards. So when you are turning, you have to be watching. We want six. So when the arrow points to six, okay. So this is 6 p.m. So you see, the arrow, this arrow is pointing at 6 p.m. So it means 6 p.m. we want the light to be on. Now, for the light to be on, these tabs must stay as they are. And then at the time that we want it to go off, we would have to push the starts backwards. So 
in this case, we want it to stay on from 6 p.m. to 5 a.m. So if you count from 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, our 5 a.m. will be at 17. So from 17 to another 6 a.m., we have to push all these stats backwards. Okay, so all these ones will go back. All right, so it means this clock will work. The moment it gets to 6 p.m., it will switch on the light, and it will switch it on through to 5 a.m. From 5 a.m. to the next 6 p.m., it will go off again. So here, after programming, you have to turn this switch back again, and then we supply power to the timer. All right, so per the setting on the timer, it means immediately it's 6 o'clock, it comes on. Um, 6 o'clock through, through 6 o'clock to 5 a.m., it will still stay on. All right, so here we can't wait for that time. So mechanically, we would have to operate the timer. And let's see when it's 5 a.m., it will go up. So it's rotating. It's rotating. It's rotating. It's rotating. It's rotating. It's rotating. So this is 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 4, 4, and then 17 is 5. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you are new to this channel, please do well to subscribe because there are a lot of educative videos coming your way. And if you watch any video on my channel and it's useful to you, do well to share with others to also benefit. Thank you very much for watching this video. See you in the next video.